Please welcome Eat Bioproducts. Hi, I'm Taylor, and this is James, Lily, Zach, Emma, and Owen. Our project is on bioproducts. Bioproducts are products that are made from biological or reusable material. Wineries create a lot of waste. Our group would like to use that waste for good. We would like to take the waste, which is also known as pomace, and put it into other foods and drinks. By doing this, it will create very little or no waste. Our group decided to do this project because it will have an immediate impact on our community and start the change over to bioproducts. Like Taylor said, uh, bioproducts, we, we need to use them. They're, they're very useful and we can use uh, pumice, like she said, as the great leftover from wineries uh, to make people, in fact, healthier. Uh, Scientists are currently searching for new ways to use this pumice. Uh, some things listed could be fertilizer uh, and an Italian drink called grappa, which is also made from uh, white grape uh, pumice. Um, there is a wide range of healthy uh, minerals and other things inside pumice, one of which is uroguanilin, which is uh, a chemical inside the body which helps you make you, which makes you feel full. So if we infuse this uh, uroguanilin from pumice into foods and other drinks, we can make people feel full faster and we can use less food and have it more readily available for people who can have it. Okay, so one of the very large issues that we're facing is the amount of waste that comes from wineries. Um, about 0.13 tons of waste are produced for every 100 grapes that are processed. Um, and that might not seem like a lot when you look at it in those numbers, but that's actually 260 pounds of waste being produced. And where this waste typically ends up is just goes straight to landfills. Um, and when this starts to add up in the landfills, it can actually lead to increased CO2 emissions. Um, and what these increased CO2 emissions do to our environment, they can actually deplete our ozone layers and cause holes in the ozone layer. Um, and this can be very bad for human health and as well as our environment around us. Um, we also have a big issue with, since grapes are food products, when they end up in landfills, um, they can actually attract insects such as flies. Now when the flies go back and forth between their environment and the landfill, um, they can actually contract and carry diseases. Uh, this can harm humans and animals, so this is just very negative to our environment. We really want to find a way to try to stop any of, all of these issues that are going on. We can do so by educating wineries, owners, what is going on in their environment around them, and see what we can do to persuade them to change what they do with their waste. Our proposal overview includes the use of $250,000 that we use to split between two wineries for production and storage. Currently, many uh, businesses do not use their pumice in order to create useful things and instead use it to go towards harmful waste. Um, when it comes to businesses, the waste, pr the waste produced by those businesses ends up going towards landfills and it's very harmful. But instead, we would like to use their pumice in, in order to create uh, a new products for their business to use. And since it is more profitable, that could inspire other businesses across the country to use their pumice in these ways and make better products. This is very plausible because in Virginia, as many of you know, there are many wineries and vineyards and businesses that spend time uh, making these things and then they have a lot of pumice left over, but it doesn't go towards anything. So our proposal basically gets rid of all this waste and creates new products that all we all can enjoy. To execute our plan, our group manager will visit two local wineries, Connolly Vineyard located in Gordonsville, VA, and Horton Vineyard also located in Gordonsville. Our group manager will request that they use their pumice to create products such as foods and or drinks. This will reduce the pumice waste, and they will do this by using materials that we were provided to them using the budget that we are requesting, along with storing them using money we provide and advertising them. This advertising will encourage other wineries to start using bioproducts and or converting their waste to bioproducts, along with encouraging other businesses to do the same thing. This will pave the path to a greener earth. The cost of all of this is approximately 
$125,000 per winery, making for a total of $250,000. 17,400 of those dollars will go towards storage of these products, approximately 6,000 for production, and 90,000 for advertising. We will also have an emergency fund of about $11,500. The production budget will account for the materials needed to make these products and the machines needed, along with smaller scale storage, like bottles and bags that these will go in. We will create pomace cheese, grappa, an Italian brandy, wine flour, grapeseed oil, and wine flour sugar cookies that will be passed around. Don't feel ob obligated to take one if you do not want to, and please only take one. <laughs> um, we will also make pomace ice cream. The advertising budget will account for commercials on statewide television yearly and commercials on the radio, along with social media uh, advertising. So we plan to reduce waste around the world by starting with just our local wineries by turning the pomace into bioproducts like you are eating now, uh, just greatly reduces waste overall. Uh, part of the grant though would go to helping the wineries change over to our system of waste reduction. They have a whole operation, so change is not easy. However, we would be there to support them with that. And if we're funded, we can use uh, the reference wineries as an example to go out across the country. People wineries that are looking for change that uh, create a chain of change. And this will hopefully inspire other companies, not just wineries, to turn their waste into bioproducts. And this will just make the earth a cleaner place. Together. So, for the cookies. <laughs> Of all the buying products you have come up with, is that a wide idea? What what encouraged you to look at the or the idea to come up with? Okay, um our group member Lily had looked into the waste created when during the winemaking progress while writing her paper. And we also have many, many wineries around here. So it's a very easy goal to accomplish. And we just thought it was the best idea that will encourage other places to start using bioproducts, which is your overall goal. Yeah. So more of a comment, you know, you guys know this, back to your group, the fact that you have one group member who's like, yeah, I have this really hyper-specific idea. For most groups, that's like, okay, thank you for your contribution. <laughs> uh, so the fact that you guys ran with that actually really uh, with that. that. That is like, again, this is not something we normally do. Okay, so we have a Thank you.